Hello, everybody. My name is Pascal Jahan Alahi. Uh, I work at the POSI Supercomputing Research Center in Western Australia as a supercomputing application specialist. So who am I? Um, well, so I, I'm Canadian. Uh, I did my education in Canada. Uh, I did an honors degree in physics at university. Uh, whose focus was on particle physics. It was a lot of uh, sort of hands-on particle physics, so building detectors, actually uh, running detectors. Um, and they might think that's quite different from doing computing, uh, but I did pick up some computing there. And after uh, particle physics, I actually uh, changed track a little bit, went into computational astrophysics and did my PhD in that. Um, still doing physics, right? So still doing uh, uh, physics, just uh, focus on astronomy. And in studying this physics, I did take some courses in programming. And right? so I did take some courses in C, C++, some Java, uh, bits and pieces, uh, occasional courses. Uh, but a lot of the, the experience in computing was actually primarily self-taught. So for my PhD in astrophysics, for instance, I had to start running simulations. And I was like, oh, how do I start doing this? And it required using supercomputers. Um, after my PhD, I did a couple of academic research positions, these postdoctoral positions uh, in Canada, China, Australia. So I, I got to travel the world, which was kind of cool. Um, in fact, there's a picture of me in Argentina at a conference. Uh, after the conference, I decided to go climb a mountain with a friend. So that was kind of cool. Uh, but now I work in uh, HPC, right? The POSI Supercomputing Center. And so you might say, well, how did this journey to doing HPC, high performance computing start? Um, so uh, in all honesty, it started trying to figure out how to answer a question. So in going out into camping sites in Canada, got to see the night sky, got to see you know, bits of the Milky Way and the stars and the planets. I was very curious. I remember uh, running into someone who had a telescope set up. And so I was like, oh, cool. I got to see stuff. And I was very curious of what's going on and asking questions. And I really wanted to understand uh, what was out there. Uh, where did it all come from? How did it begin? Right. So the questions of big universe stuff, how do you start looking at it? And of course, uh, it's very hard to put a, a universe in a box to prod it and disentangle what's going on, right? As you would maybe another system like, uh, like doing chemistry. And so that actually meant that I had to start thinking about how you would do this. And in my PhD in astrophysics, uh, that meant using supercomputers because this, a computer is a, essentially a way of modeling a system. And so you can model whatever system you want. And so you can start modeling a universe uh, or highly simplified universes to understand how our universe formed. So in this, uh, on this uh, picture in the slide, we've got a supercomputer on the left-hand side and a simulated universe on the right-hand side where we're looking at very large scales. So each little dot is kind of a, a that, that's highlighted in blue is kind of a galaxy. Um, the bigger ones are very large galaxies. And so we're looking at really, really large scales and the cosmic web that forms when you kind of have gravity and some extra physics. And so that was the thing, right? Being able to use a supercomputer to play with the physics to understand how our universe formed by essentially using toy models to explore possible sets of physics. Uh, and that required using supercomputers. You couldn't run one of these more large scale simulations on a laptop. It would take a very long time. And we don't want to wait the age of the universe, which happens to be around 13.8 billion years to model a universe that would take too long. So this simulation was run on a supercomputer with uh, maybe a couple hundred to, I think this one probably a couple thousand uh, computing units, so CPUs, and used lots of memory and it ran for uh, maybe a week or two weeks. So quite a lot of computing there. And in using that experience, got some experience uh, using supercomputers, but then uh, you know, to answer questions, uh, to use these simulations actually involved writing my own code. So developing code for using supercomputers. In this case, this code happened to be Velociraptor. So it's hunting for uh, objects in these simulations to find the galaxies, look at how they behave, follow how they evolve. And that was essentially making use of the coding background I picked up and really started making it more concrete and starting really understand how supercomputers worked. And so that's, you know, uh, here I was helping myself, but now I help others by uh, using my experience and my background in physics and, and my knowledge in computing to make use of supercomputers and enable cool, new, and better, and sort of a bigger science. Thank you.